Hello everyone, today I'm showing you a way of manipulating a grid in Rhino for in Grasshopper for Rhino and creating um, a way of interacting with the menu in Rhino and uh, have it a like a real-time in process way of changing the geometry and rectangles that you use. It's a very useful tool in order to see if you want to like shape places or squares or certain roads into just a basic volumina and it helps a lot by creating certain shapes to it. So the way this works is basically we're having the grid and um, we're putting a small like offset to it just can be like be whatever but we're like being one set. then those things will be extruded and we have um, each extrusion here and then we're taking um, the middle point of each of those things and we are using a line and this line will test if this point will be inside or outside so if it's outside it will go away and if it's inside it will stay or the other way around depending on how you see it so the way you're going to do is we're just starting with a new file here um, the first thing is going to we have to like import those with um, the command geometry otherwise it's also possible to do it in a different way for example with um, pipeline it's called um, wait geometry pipeline here this will take uh, for example you can um, put this one on here double click and now we have um, all the curves that we have we don't need to add them <coughs> Uh, later on for example if I put another rectangle here you see it will show up or if I put another curve here it will show up as well so we have this easy going next thing I'm going to do is we create um, the rectangular grids it can also be hexagonal grid or grid of whatever so it doesn't really matter and it will be um, where we wanted to have it so we're gonna increase the size a little bit and put some put the parameters in here so it's nice and big and we're gonna also change the size of those things as well in my case I will just stay rectangular um, <coughs> to keep it quite simpler to keep it simple so now we have a rectangular grid we will make a little offset this will need to be negative uh, in order for it to go to the inside I think I just used the wrong command I think offset loses a better command because it will be um, working better and it takes less um, power basically so use this one maybe decrease this a little bit here and we have to use a negative amount in order to um, so it goes to the inside basically now we see here we have our small rectangular like building type ish things so the next thing I'm going to do is we use the command um, point in curve exactly and it will uh, it will take this point that we like need to define so we have to use the under curve analysis polygon center you're going to extract the middle point of each of those points which will be in the middle obviously and uh, we're also going to flatten that because so we want them all like, to react the same basically and um, we're going to have the points and we're going to have uh, the curve that we're going to use them for but the problem here is that um, if I would just simply put it in here in the curves that we have in the beginning it gives us the relation of all of those things but the problem is that we have six different um, curves in this case and they will all be reacting differently so if you're gonna dispatch it like here to we want to dispatch the offset curves in this thing um, you will see it will not gonna work out or not the way of how we think it will work out as you see it will only take one in this case so we all we all we, we want them to take a lot of those things not just only one Obviously for this one it works great or it doesn't as you see here, it just takes one randomly. So what we're gonna do 
is we're gonna flip the matrix so in that way we're having like each of those um, points basically separately or like uh, here that we have to graph the tray of the curves um, we have each of those points even see if there is a point inside or not as you see for some sentences that just like one here so we need to basically exclude um, each of those points if possible if there's one point here we have to exclude them for all the different instances instances so what we're gonna do is just it's actually quite simple we just didn't use mass addition and um, we will mass uh, add those things together and you see we will have either like a zero or a two in here or maybe even in a case if it will overlap it might be even a bigger number as well and what we need to do now is we just need to um, uh, use like a higher or lower command in which is case just use uh, and we are going to test if the number is zero it will stay and if it's going to be higher then it has to go out in all the instances so we're going to test um, for the first number and then we have to use uh, number zero because zero means it is um, in the case of the relationship here it will be in the outside so we have to use zero and this will give us now a number of true or falses here in this case as you see there are certain true certain false and we're going to dispatch those in order to get the correct result um, going to use the same dispatch pattern here I think I might have just used it wrong because now it is uh, I shouldn't have grafted it because now it will basically show it in every single one of those commands and that's not something I wanted but I guess we just need to wait it out and we will see what happens maybe I can draw a little bit more in this lovely lovely painting here and um, so basically we are having our uh, small circle and the relationship of each of those points will be defined by a 1 or a 0 so this will be always or 2 so this will be always a 2 2 a 2 a 2 a 2 and if the x those points will be outside it will always be 0 0 0 0 so in order to get those things straight we just need to get them like on the right order now i think it's manage to work but we're gonna control Z in order for it to work better okay so now we have our dispatch things here we're gonna have maybe we're gonna just remove this one here and we have our list which is has to be flattened or not well doesn't really matter and now we put this one in here and we have our very nice result in that order so now we see if our result this will be like now the other case around but we just do it in this way so now we'll have very nice working things here and in order to be a little bit better we're gonna use um, the X, um, box command box rectangle command and we're gonna extrude those in a certain height that we want. I don't know what the hell it's gonna be. Maybe just some simple blocks here. And we're gonna use this command and in the list. And now those lists, and we're gonna remove this one here. We're gonna have our very nice like city. So if you wanna add any new polylines lines in this case, they will be automatically add it to it and it's a very nice way to define like a certain ground way of shape of your city if you want to have certain roads that will lead through it and maybe you want to have a certain shape I want to test out how it will look in the beginning and how you can like use it and now we just simply need like bake it to okay and we just simply can put it into um, V-Ray and do a little render and see if that's the thing that you want to have or if that's something we rather not use in the final product. 
So thank you very much for watching and I uh, hope this cleared out some of your questions and uh, yeah, enjoy.